the low traders and investors, in the United States, and, everywhere else, around the globe. Welcome to The Patrick and Luna Show. We truly appreciate your engagement with us. Please comment when you can do so. Let the show begin. Luna here. The SPY SPDR, SAN 500 ETF, is trending downward, minus 0.26 for the past week ending on April 21, 2023. In our opinion, not investment advice, next week will yet again, continue to be epic. Be aware, be awesome dash to not miss out on the rapid changes in market trends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. For the upcoming trading week, ending on April 28, 2023, our proprietary Algo forecasts the following potential trend for each of the following metrics, either bullish or bearish. VIX index, bullish, but only in a very small way. VIX index, extremely bearish, you have been warned. SPY index, bearish. West Texas Intermediate, crude oil, bearish. QQQ, bearish. Copper, bearish. And of course, the VIX, SPY correlation variance, surprise, surprise, bearish, of course. So what? So, our conclusion for the week ahead is that, surprise surprise, our algo indicates that the bears at least for the week ahead, are yet again in control. Our SPY VIX correlation variation metric, dash confirms this of course, in our opinion massive global bank runs are still ongoing notwithstanding the massive printing of fiat money to stem the run on banks. Some analysts say that K, or qualitative easing is back again. This is, of course, not investment advice, but fasten your seatbelts a bumpy ride awaits. Swing traders and day traders will make money, the traders that are not nimble will be crushed, in our opinion. For the past few months, we have been saying that we are entering a global depression, not so much a recession. Dan, at I allegedly, on his YouTube channel, is sharing that the D-word may be more likely than a mere recession. More analysts and bankers are now forecasting the coming of a depression, not a recession. What do you think? We agree with other analysts, that the equity markets are completely disconnected from the reality of the collapsing economies of many countries around the planet. When we have a bullish week as we experience, intermittently, during this epoch bear market, it demonstrates, that Wall Street is oblivious to the pain being felt by Main Street. Indeed, this disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street is growing, a lot. We continue to think, that when a rally occurs, that it is nothing more than just another sucker's bull rally in the ongoing bear market. As the sucker's rally plays on, from time to time on a seemingly random basis, as it is doing for the week ahead, in our opinion the ship, just think of the Titanic, continues to sink, and increasingly so. These sucker rallies can last for weeks at a time during a bear market. When the rug pull comes, as it inevitably will, the result will be a dramatic decline in the market indexes, in our opinion of course. More and more analysts are forecasting a catastrophic commercial real estate crash. All we can say is wow. We do not think we have seen the bottom. Keep in mind, volatility is still very much with us. Indeed, the bear market is still very much still with us. We always like to see at least a 3, or greater week period, in which the market is in a bull trend before we can determine a potential bottom for the market. Be careful in trading for the next 1 to 3 weeks, dash and more. It's a jungle out there. Patrick and Luna, signing off. Have an awesome week everyone.